Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Celestial Earth Dragons of the New Edenic Ascension Timeline. Today is day 4 of 10 galactic activation portals in a row on the Mayan's Old King calendar with Keen 109, Red Overtone Moon, and Day 5 of the Red Serpent Wave Spell. As the blue ray combines with the infrared radiation of the Overtone of Heaven, as we make our transition into a new excited state of being, in our acceleration of consciousness into the clear light of bliss. As Earth Angelic Ground Crew of the 144, we keep anchoring in the new codes into the grids and dragon lines of Pachamama. As the beautiful overtones of the music of the spheres continue to raise the current of the universal life force, we reach a new harmonic of the tones of the new Earth. We have massive energetics coming in from on high. We had a flash of light appearing on the Schumann charts at an amplitude of 29 hertz, and Pachamama received a massive activation with a magnitude 6.9 earthquake in the central mid-Atlantic ridge in between South America and Africa. This activation was right on the equator and 21 degrees due west of the prime meridian the zero point on Mother Earth. These energies synchronize with the new Atlantis rising. It may seem like chaos in these challenging times as we oscillate rapidly between emptiness and form, but all is in divine time, and as courageous lion nation of the new Lemuria, we further our quest by feeling all our subtle emotions under the intensity and allow ourselves to feel the shadow aspects and in turn release all that no longer serves ourself and all of humanity. The appearance and disappearance of all matter is a quanta in which all make up the quantum field of consciousness. Remember that all things are perfectly resolved in the unborn mind of Buddha. In the clarity of our pure awareness we see that our physical vessel is a diamond point of light on the jewel net of Indra. As star lotus blossoms of the new earth, all earth angelic ground crew are blooming in the cosmic consciousness of the kingdom of God in this now. We honor all our elders of all our tribes and nations and all our cultures that have evolved over thousands of years. There is great beauty in all cultures of people of the new earth. We stand on the shoulders of our ancestors and journey on the way into the dawning of the new golden age of infinite life. Gaia along with all her children of the sun are raising into a new higher octave of pure resonance into what we call 5D and beyond. This is the frequency of love, bliss, joy, peace and prosperity for all sentient beings of the way. The eternal sacred self is fully integrating into our avatars for the final transformation into rainbow bodies of the pure land of bliss. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today. From our sacred new earth scribes so be sure to stick around to the very end and please do us a favor share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm and now we continue with the sabian symbols right now the moon is at zero degree 29 minutes capricorn the sun is at 12 degrees 33 minutes virgo the current sabian symbol for the sun at 13 degrees virgo a powerful statesman overcomes a state of political hysteria and the current Sabian symbol for the moon at one degree Capricorn an Indian chief claims power from the assembled tribe from astrologyweekly.com and from divine sister of the light Rasha your journey will carry you forth through the varied scenery of a radical new world in the times to come and at the same time your newly elevated vantage point on the same old sites will add a dramatically different outlook 
that makes it appear as though you are seeing the world for the very first time. That world is changing, and you are changing with it more rapidly than you can imagine. The task at hand is to take care of your own emerging consciousness by applying focused awareness on the potential repercussions of every interaction and every energy exchange with another. In so doing, you make the highest possible contribution to the collective and to the intimate circle of fellow travelers who walk beside you on the road to oneness. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, he's buys. Beloved family, I am pleased to announce that we are already under KP5 indices, which in the next few hours are very likely to rise to KP6. All this sums up to a large amount of gamma energy that when coming into contact with the electromagnetic field of the earth and us, it will provoke an immense activation, transmits our human genome moving from coal to silicon, as does coal to diamond under an energetic pressure. Around the world thousands of souls awaken, our DNA crystallizes, we activate our inner Christ, Moments of deep connection with what we consider Divine Father comes down, Divine Mother Ascension. We surrender to the supreme Divine Plan. They have fulfilled their promise. We kept the promise as it was written. So it will be. This is how it is. And from Divine Sistar of the Light Sophie Gregoire, You are gently moving from one phase to the next, from doing to finding pause to restore your spirit and let it all implement. All the pieces of this cycle are key. All are part of the conscious creation of your life. Also when doing more self-care to fill your own cup. You serve best when you are full. Don't feel guilty for taking more time for you. In the spaces in between, magic keeps happening. Your life expands. Let go of control and see how the universe has planned to surprise you. Rewards are coming in ways your mind can't fathom. From SophieGregoire.com And from Divine Brother of the Light, Diego E. Berman, Ph.D. Dear friends, just as predicted, moderate geomagnetic storm conditions are being observed due to a high-speed solar wind stream flowing past Earth. The storm started overnight for the Americas, and early Sunday for Europe and Asia. The intense wave of solar wind may have affected your sleep or may have created strange and vivid dreams. Do pay attention to those dream messages for they hold key information for your future timelines. When the solar winds blow, new information is being shown to those of us who are wanting to move into more joyful, lighter, and higher timelines of reality. These signs, insights can appear in the dream state or simply as synchronicities around you. New topics of interest coming into your life or unexpected conversations that resonate with you in new ways. You will recognize these messages intuitively within your body and mind. Physically speaking, it takes a minimum of three days to integrate these new light codes. You may experience fatigue, insomnia, lack of focus and concentration, digestive issues, dizziness, and some skin issues of dealing with relationship conflicts that are being purged from your system. All of this is part of a normal yet new process of inner human transformation and metamorphosis. We are clearing old outdated belief systems and ways of doing and being. Trust the process and go ahead fearlessly into your divinely inspired realities. Have a wonderful week, friends. Much love from DiegoBerman.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Amera Atlantis. The vortex is pregnant with possibilities. What will you allow to circulate into your experience? The month of September holds the potential for everything to change, for complete transformation and transcendence deeper into the vortex of creation through intention and alignment. How do you go into spiritual alignment? By trusting your heart, your inner voice and intuition, by flushing the fair fairies and remembering that you came to experience the fullness of your God, Goddess Self through the act of passion and creation. Give your sacred yes, earth angels, and allow the tides of change 
September, number nine equals change. To ride the perfect waves of growth and expansion by courage and intention. Oceans of Aloha, Ameratlantis.com. And from divine brother of the light, Omram Mikhail Ivanhoe. Now that you have embarked on the path of light, you must continue relentlessly without wondering when you will reach the finish line. One after another, obstacles give way to the one who does not stop on the way, for he has put into motion the powerful laws of life. Spiritual life is like climbing a high mountain. On his steep, steep paths, you will inevitably experience moments of weakness, discouragement, and you may even fall, but that is no reason to stop. Sometimes you may even feel like you're dying, but you will rise again. At the depth of discouragement, you must hang on to that mysterious light that remains in you. It will tell you that the death you're undergoing will be followed by a resurrection, and that there is no one better than you can't save you because all the power of life is within you, no doubt. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Amanda Lawrence, Wayshowers, 1111 coming in, the human entrance point to remembering you are energy, that is consciousness, is initially via human feeling. Feeling is like the initial gateway you can access to feel energy, become energy again, energy of the unified field. Beyond feeling and also gradually as a process, energy becomes the dominant state of your being where infinite data transfer occurs outside of time and space. Energy to energy, no language required. Data transfer simply occurs. The human experience and dominance of the mental body and the emotional body fades away, or shall fade away for many. It becomes the less dominant, the less fascinating, the less stimulating. It was your experience until it isn't, until energy becomes you becomes your world, the point you exist from, the point you return to, the continuous expanding light and vibrational pulsations of your own unique consciousness that you always have been and consciously return to, embodied, to become again with the body. Now is the time to see and hear differently, with the kingdoms as a whole, with the elements, now is the time to lay more and more and more foundations of energy by being it, immersing in it, connecting as it to it. It is time to go at your innate speed, expand at your own speed, to not hold back any longer. It is time. Have faith, go forth, as all will arrive also, in their perfect and divine timing. So be where you are, and keep expanding from your own point, Going backwards or immersing in previous energetics you live from will feel energetically like swimming against the tide. Being where you are and expanding from that point will feel as the flow. It's ease, it's grace, it's exciting, it's fun, it feels expansive, and always it will feel filled with the love of God within you. The quieter you are, the more you can hear of higher vibration. The quieter you are, the more you can see of higher vibration. It truly is the timeline we actively bring this in, as the new world all will eventually live in and understand from. Let go of what you have been and have experienced, it is done. And as the love holding your knowing and birth it, one moment at the time. One love, Amanda Lawrence. From Isis Channelings. Descent into the cauldron of death and transformation. With all outer planets in retrograde and Venus all set to finally enter the underworld, cave, hermit mode, is the order of the day. Venus, Inanna, is at the end of her journey as morning star in this particular shamanic cycle of death and rebirth as the Capricorn, the crone, wise woman, meta-goddess, and is beginning to retreat from the early morning sky, no longer visible above the horizon, as she descends into the cauldron of transformation in the underworld, though I can still see her twinkling very low on the horizon as the timing of her descent differs according to latitude. 
As Venus Inanna is the embodiment of the Divine Feminine, her journey is reflected in our individual journey. And right now we find ourselves in a serpentine spiral of descent into the labyrinth of the womb, tomb, cave of the underworld, the domain of death and transformation. This is the realm of death of the old ego identities, false perceptions and distortions, patterns and ways of being that no longer serve, where Venus Inanna meets her shadow self, twin sister, Ereshkigal, absolutely naked and vulnerable, after being disrobed of all her vestments, false titles, armory, walls at the seven gates of descent. We are in the realm of the wise crone, cooking, simmering, and Kiridwin's cauldron of transformation and rebirth at Hecate's liminal gates of consciousness, at Nekbet's gateway of initiation into ancient wisdom. Cave hermit time can be deceptive because outwardly there seems to be little action, but the swirlings of the unconsciousness are bringing deep insights and revelations. Stillness and receptivity are required to listen to the new nuggets of information. Air chakras and sonic sounds are doing a crazy tango and then take guided action. A redirection is in motion, directing your new rebirth, resurrection. In multiple sessions of initiations, I've witnessed my clients being directed to underground cave labyrinths, underneath temples, pyramids, as part of our shamanic journey of initiation. All ancient temples of learning initiations into the mysteries were located above a labyrinth network of underground caves where the initiate was put through a series of tests in order to be initiated into the higher spirals of awareness, consciousness, and mastery. As we wade into the labyrinth of Capricorn Metagoddess, Grandmother Spider's Web of Creations, we are being initiated into the new foundations of interconnectedness that need to be established if we are to usher in a new golden age. The thread of interconnectedness of Grandmother Spider's web connects all three realms, heaven, earth, underworld, conscious, subconscious, superconsciousness, man, animal, plants, intention, action, manifestation. It is said that the golden age will return, when the crones are once again honored and recognized as the backbones, foundations of civilizations, for they are the sovereign keepers midwives of the sacred wisdom that harness the magic of the elements and unite the natural world. We are being stirred in the cauldron of death and rebirth by the crone, wise woman, grandmother spider, Capricorn metagoddess. Ancient wisdom is being imparted to you so that you may emerge as the co-creator of the new age where spirit flows and interconnects all as one. Listen to your body. Take time off social media, retreat, sleep, connect with nature. Where have you neglected, dishonored, or not fully committed to the natural world and your connection to it? Where are you being redirected? What loose ends are you being guided to tie up? And light and grace and joy be the change you want to see. Sake na from isischannelings.wordpress.com and from Divine Brother of the Light, Michael Love, Earth Alliance Space Weather and Tell, September 4th, 2022. Powerful light coming in. Great one. As we continue another super galactic weekend on planet Earth, solar activity is in high gear again as powerful exotic solar and cosmic particles are streaming into Earth's atmosphere. A strong KP6 level geomagnetic storm is underway as we speak and solar winds are blasting the surface at the moment at speeds over 600 kilometers a second. A global tectonic plate and quake watch is in progress as the planet's magnetic field is impacted. Powerful gamma level light emanating from the galactic core is interacting with the sun's corona every day now, causing heightened and sustained solar activity. This high vibrational gamma light resonates between 40 to 100 hertz and is tuned precisely to activate the fifth strand of DNA, allowing access to the fifth dimensional state of consciousness. 
Brand Solar Flash Intel Update 9 for 2022. Light leaders from all around the world are talking about the Grand Solar Flash. The master beings of Earth with the highest intuitions know that the great time of humanity's evolution and ascension to the new Earth has come. The Pleiadians see it coming. Reputable remote viewers and QHHT meditators see it coming. Secret space program members and Project Looking Glass see it coming. The powers that were know it's coming. Increased cosmic energy levels and solar activity indicate it's coming. Transforming timelines on Earth show that it is coming. Earth's depleted ozone layer and weak magnetic field are announcing it's coming. The 13,000 year solar flash cycle that has impacted Earth at least five times in the past Predicted by the Mayan culture verifies its coming. When is it coming? A critical data marker in recent light forces data received by the Earth Alliance indicates a very high probability that the grand solar flash will occur at the end of the first quarter of 2024. This projected timeline has been seen by almost everyone with a higher ability to see it. With that said, it's important to note the grand solar flash is overdue and could happen at any moment. There are millions of star seeds on planet Earth and many of them already are operating in the upper fourth, even fifth dimension. This is a superhuman state of being where the fears of the old world have disappeared and where supernatural ability begins to operate. We are all here with great intention for the greatest show in the cosmos and we know that what happens on Earth will affect the entire universe. Great honor to you for all you have done. The star seeds of Earth are reporting moderate ascension symptoms this evening as they work to integrate this latest high frequency light influx into their cells. Be sure to eat natural energy foods and drink lots of pure water. Do some breath work, meditate for an hour, and be in nature as much as possible. Keep those crystals near your auric field to help channel this powerful light into the Earth. We say, let there be light. Let us know what ascension symptoms you may be experiencing at this time. Godspeed, Michael and the Pleiadians from 5dearthproject.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Karen Lithica. Light Skill Evolution What does this mean exactly and what are the skills exactly? As your light skills develop, know it can be a subtle harmonic expansion of who you are. The task is to see the light clues before you. For your Light Alliance team will come forth to commune in a multitude of ways. For Karen can receive cues as vibrational light moving through certain body parts as it filtrates messages of light from the cosmic light field, auric field to the physical body. Multidimensional vision, vocal messages, and reoccurring thoughts are all clues of the path before you. The evolution of your light field. The vision of your Merkaba comes in many ways. Being in a deep higher realm journey will assist in this expansion of light phase. For working in groups enables you to work in a unity light field which greatly accelerates your light capacity to see and feel. Your task is to visualize the light of you. Awaken to the path of light all around you. For the joys of your reality is seeking this wonderful key of light within. There is no rule book. Only the motivation to seek, learn, and expand your light to meet your cosmic family. As you live in multiple light worlds, we see your consciousness shifting, expanding, and evolving as you awaken to the many aspects of you. See the difference in every breath you take. The consciousness of light. The great reawakening is here. For the light intelligence of you is beyond any published book available in your current world. Simply be in the light. Sending waves of cosmic love, new earth light, the Arcturians and Karen from KarenLithica.com And from Carolyn144 God Code September brings great events that we have been calling in through our spirit. It's time to come home to the beloved within and without. This means that the parables of Christ are complete. We can reunite with our Father back home. No longer we will lack understanding of this cause. It is our times, beloveds, to shine. What to expect? God consciousness completing within self. 
stepping into the oneness unified field of consciousness, entering the toroidal field access point, new understanding of humankind, standing tall in your virtues, exiting the matrix for good, waking up to God's seed branch within self, more DNA entering the chakra system uniting you back home, reflections of self are understood. This completes all the healing, detoxing, and upgrades experienced in June, July, and August. More frequency of Christ is being put in you this September. This completes clearing the shadow wounds. Have a blessed September, dear family. Love, Carolyn. And from Divine Brothor of the Light, Richard Rudd, Gene Keys, unlocking the higher purpose hidden in your DNA. Gene Key 64 September 4th, 2022 through September 9th, 2022. Confusion, imagination, illumination. Confusion in itself is a perfectly natural state. The ancient alchemist referred to this state as the Masa Confusa, the chaos of the elements, likening it to the primal swirling that preceded the birth of the universe. Confusion is a state with neither order nor structure. It is a state rippling with pure potentiality. Only when the human mind attempts to interpret it does it become bewildering. If you are able to look into this primal state of consciousness without engaging your mind in any way, you will see the true nature of being manifested as illumination. The 64th CD, the Gene Keys book. And from the Yi Ching, the classic book of change, Hexagram 64, before completion, fire rises while water descends, alchemical art balances divergent forces, discovering the ecstatic within the divine, illumination is rapturous devotion, imagination is lightness and commitment, confusion is desiring half-heartedness, passionate communication. Thus, the superior man is careful in the differentiation of things, so that each finds its place. The 64th Gene Key, along with its programming partner, the 63rd, are such an extraordinary pairing. The whole Yi Ching can be reduced down to the four Gene Keys, the 1 and 2 and the 63 and 64, the bookends which mystically contain all other Gene Keys. Richard Rudd, 64 Ways, from GeneKeys.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse, Uranus Retrograde and Taurus Square Series in Leo. Sometimes the comfort and security we ask for doesn't come. Friends are out, family busy, therapist on holiday. The connection between Uranus and Ceres speaks of feeling left out in the cold, cut off, a latchkey kid, waiting for mum to come home. We may be inclined to act out, rebel, stamp our feet to demand attention, but deep down we know that this isn't the way. Sometimes I set you free because you need it, says Ceres. How will you learn to care for yourself if I do it all for you? She's painting her face with inks made from flowers. She smells of lavender, honeysuckle, and jasmine. Sometimes I make things unpredictable to jolt you out of complacency, says Uranus. His scent right now is like earth struck by lightning. It tickles and irritates, makes us fumble for new ground, more space, fresh air. There now, isn't it amazing what you can see from a new place? A shower of iridescent sparks rises from the ground, energy awaiting direction. Cut off offshoots that have become unwieldy and that are sucking the life out of your other enterprises. Nourish yourself with new foods and interests. Nurture your talents and independence. Recognize your uniqueness as a resource. You don't have to run with the crowd. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 109, Red Overtone Moon. Overtone is the name for the number five, and its keywords are Empower, Radiance, and Command. This is the fifth day of the Red Serpent Wave Spell, the fourth portal day in a row. Day five of any wave spell is powerful, and this one is on a portal day. That's a lot of energy to contend with. 
and the potential for folks to be overwhelmed by this is certainly there. Luckily, today is the red moon, which represents purification, universal water and flow. The red moon demands that we go with the flow, chill out and relax. This is because the moon's influence is so powerful that we cannot go against the tide. As it is a number five day, this suggests that we can all feel empowered by going with the flow. Surrender to the universe, relinquish control, and trust that the tide is changing for the good of us all. There's nothing you can do about it anyway. This surrendering control is a purifying process, and on red moon days it's a good idea to have a bath or go for a swim, visit a waterfall, or cleanse your body by drinking plenty of water. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio. Red Overtone Moon, 9 Moluk, Keen 109, 4th of September 2022, Goddess Radiance. Galactic Activation Portal Day 4, 4 9 2022 equal 4 9 6 equal 4 15 equal 6 equal 10 equal 1. Day Codes 4, Form, Structure, Foundation, Earth, Angelic. 10 Manifestation, Leadership, Authority. One New Beginnings, Leader, Original, Independent. Month Year Codes, 9 Completion, Service, Destiny, Divine, Humanity, Grace. 15 Spiritual Alchemy, Charisma, Magnetism. 6 Heaven, Christ, Family, Harmony, Fertility. Keen 109 equal 10 Manifestation, Leadership, Authority, New Beginnings. 1010 Double Manifestation Power, a powerful day for founding your new empowerment. Day 5 and the Red Serpent Wave Spell of Survival, Instinct, Kundalini Rising, Life Force, Passion, and Rapid Transformation through Shedding Our Old Skin. Today is a Divinely Feminine Day. We are purifying, cleansing, and going with the flow, following our instincts to become more empowered. Allow the goddess to unkink your blocks in your serpent spine so your kundalini can flow freely. Purification and cleansing are highly favored today, purifying your vessel in the preparation to hold more light. Tone of creation, overtone tone five in the spiritual realm, action commands, power empowers, essence radiance. Number five represents the center, core purpose, foundation, and central intent. It is the center of the wheel from which all the spokes emanate. This is the phase where the energy of creation returns to the center and then radiates outwards. Overtones command the unbounded. They order it to be and so it becomes. Their power radiates from their soul essence through a pure connection to source. This is the true source of unlimited power. Today the goddess is commanding the flow of greater life force and vitality through her empowered radiance. Today's question is, what inherited patterns can I release and purify in order to become more radiant and empowered? Divine blessings for the beautiful rainbow flow of your feminine intuitive energies through your pure vessel. In la ketch a la keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 109, Red Overtone Moon. The mantra, the code for today is 3333 coming in. I am power in order to purify, commanding flow. I seal the process of universal water with the overtone tone of radiance. I am guided by the power of navigation. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. 
It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Brother of the Light, Reed Kane, for your pledge and support on Patreon, and welcome to the tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. If you'd like to help support our work and mission and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to also thank Divine Brother of the Light, Adam Brennan, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Brother. We appreciate you and your continued support. And I'd like to also thank Divine Brother of the Light, Lucas Myhoff for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Brother. We appreciate you and your continued support, and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. If you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal account at eaglelovecondor.com. And I'd like to also thank Divine Sistar of the Light Sally Benson for another super thanks donation on YouTube. We appreciate you, Divine Sister, and your continued support. Now, I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork on Etsy. You could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now, we complete today's transmission with a powerful prayer and invocation from Divine Sister of the Light, Aurelia. Prayers to the Seven Sacred Flames Invocation to the Cosmic Ascension Light Beloved glorious I Am Presence, Light of my soul, may the light of cosmic ascension and divine love be poured within my soul and into the earth like the light of a thousand suns to permeate the earth and to saturate her people and her many kingdoms. May all negativity, illusion, and karma be transmuted by this cosmic ascension light of God that never fails. May the great golden age of enlightenment, love, peace, brotherhood, and prosperity for all be established now upon our dear planet by the action of this great ascension light. By the authority of my beloved I Am Presence, the light of the Father, Mother, God, and by the authority of the entire spirit of the great white brotherhood, I affirm. As a son of God, I now declare that I am an authority on earth. I am calling for the action of the light of a thousand suns to be released now on this beloved planet, for the immediate transformation of earth into the shining star that is her destiny, and for the raising up of humanity into their eternal freedom, and the realms of light and divine perfection. I request that the light that is needed to manifest the kingdom of God on earth as it is in heaven be released now without limit until all is ascended in the light and free. And so it is, beloved I am. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed week ahead. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.